this reading is going to be for um, Aquarius. Hello, Aquarius. It is your turn. Mm. So, Aquarius, whenever you find this reading, it's for you. It's a timeless read. All of my readings are timeless. So, whenever you find this reading, it's for you. Okay. However, <clears throat> it will be dated for January 2024. Okay, um, because, you know, I have to put something on there so people know what we're doing. <laughs> All right, it's going to be a general read, not a love reading. And I think that's about it. Um, it's your girl Bunny here. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. So I'm just going to go ahead and set up some sacred space for us. And I'm going to welcome in my spirit guides and my ancestors and galactic family. And ask that Archangel Michael protect this space for us while we read. And I'm going to go ahead and connect to all the Aquariuses that watch me. Um, all of their spirit guides and ancestors. I welcome them into this sacred space. May you help me guide Aquarius for their highest good and only those with our highest intentions are allowed to enter this space with us. All right, now that that's done, let's go ahead and dive right in Aquarius. I'm going to use my Oceanic Tarot first, followed by my Rider Waite. And then, well, I guess we'll just play it by ear. I don't really know what spirit deck I'm going to use for you guys yet. I'm sure I'll heed the call <laughs> when we get there. Aquarius, thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. For Aquarius, please. What do we have for Aquarius? What's going on there? Don't tell me we're going to start out like this, spirits. <laughs> What's up? Uh-uh. No, no, no. Wow. We have five of pentacles, abandonment, eight of cups, change. Oof. What is happening? And then ten of pentacles, luck. All right, so I'm going to keep pulling some more, but let me, let me let you guys know already what we're starting out with. We have Abandonment, Eight of Cups. It says change, but basically Eight of Cups is, you know, letting go of something. And then we have Ten of Pentacles, Luck. So financial-wise, Aquarius, things will be going well. You know that one saying that they say, like, one door shuts, another one opens? So if there's something that happened recently where you feel a little bit left behind by someone, almost like someone has left you in the cold, um, something didn't quite work out as planned, right? And you had to let something go. Now, Five of Pentacles, you know, it, it has to do with some kind of financial. Oops. Sorry about that. It just slammed into my camera. Oh, no. Now I got to fix it. What happened? That's not good. It's, like, so crooked now. Hold on. All right. There's, it's a little bit fixed now. Um, so, you know, there's a feeling of... Something happened, okay, <clears throat> financial-wise, where it didn't necessarily go as planned. I don't, know, I don't know what that could pertain to, right? But you had to let go of something, right? But this is a welcome change, Aquarius, right? It's a welcome change. 
okay? Because look, once you, once you embrace this door that slammed, you have luck and abundance coming in. The Ten of Pentacles is wealth. It's being wealthy beyond your wildest dreams, right? But we have to have that little setback. Perhaps you had, you know, this financial setbacks so that you could learn, right? So that you could learn to do it a different way, okay? And whatever it is, this, this new financial abundance that's coming in, right? Is, is, so basically you started something, it didn't go how you thought it was going to go. Okay. So you had to change up your course. Okay. And, oh, excuse me. There goes my throat chakra. Hold on one second. So you had to switch up your, um, there was a course correction and you had to switch your course, okay? And you made a different financial decision and you chose a different path. And this new path, not only is it going to bring you in financial abundance, but you're going to be way happier here, Aquarius, okay? We have the Knight of Wands, which shows me that this is a passion being reignited, right? This is activity, it's things moving forward quickly, okay? And it's because you're passionate about this new financial um, path, okay? You've chosen, cho I can't talk, you've chosen a new career which you are passionate about and it's something that, that ignites your soul and it's a lot, you're a lot more passionate about this one than you were the other one okay you just didn't know it at the time um so i'm gonna do two storylines okay this will be the career storyline okay it's possible now that this could also have something to do with love because these two little buggers on here represent the twin flame connection um in a love reading so i'm going to give you two different scenarios and you pick which one resonates with you it's possible that you had a romantic endeavor. It didn't go necessarily how you thought it was going to go, right? And you had to let go of that connection temporarily, okay? We have, you know, Eight of Cups, which we call that the breakup card, right? But I see that you're not quite done with this person, okay? It's possible that you could be dealing with um, a deep soul connection, like I said, like something similar to a twin soul. Um, I'm going to say similar to a twin soul because though it, though I'm an energy reader and it does feel like a twin soul, only you will know, my beautiful Aquarius, whether or not this is actually a twin soul um, connection. You will be able to determine that. No one else no reader can tell you. And if they do say that they know this is your twin soul, then they're lying. Okay. There's no way to possibly know. There's, you will only be able to know that it'll be a feeling deep in your heart. So, okay. Um, but I get the feeling that if this does pertain to love, that you are not done with this person. It's the Ten of Pentacles shows me that they want to make, um, their way towards you. Okay. Again, and you know, the twin flame journey can be, be tumultuous like that. So, all right. So we have ace of swords victory. <laughs> so there is some kind of clarification or clarity coming through. If, if, if this, if this is the romantic storyline, okay. This is communication right here. Okay, this is communication. Sorry, I'm all like shadowy in <laughs> the camera. So yes, this would be communication, which is what I just said. It feels like they could be coming their way back towards you. Okay, now if we're going in the financial route, okay, this could be a possible, um, if you're waiting on, Career portion, sorry. 
if you're waiting on a call back for um, something business related, like if you're waiting on a call back for a new job or you're waiting for that business call, business proposal, call from the partner, the new firm, whatever it is, it's coming. Okay. <laughs> so, all right. What else do we have for Aquarius? We have Five of Swords, Conflict. We have a lot of fives here, Aquarius. Can I say there seems to be a significant amount of change coming in for you? And there goes my kids, like clockwork. <laughs> Hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that, Aquarius. Um, oh, where were we? So we have the Five of Swords conflict, and then we have Limbo. So I am going to get, I'm going to pull a clarifier. Why do we have the five of swords here, please? I want to know what this is in regards to drama. Wow. Okay. Um, Knight of swords. Drama llama. <laughs> drama alert, Aquarius. We have five of swords. I asked why we have the five of swords because it says conflict. So five of swords is, um, you know, it's the energy of, of fighting, you know, five of swords is, is the card where, you know, the, the guy is, he's got, you know, the two, the three swords or whatever. And, you know, he's looking back with like this sly kind of look or whatever, and he's won, right? <laughs> but, you know, he won the battle, but there was fighting, there was conflict. And when I asked why we had this card, I asked for clarification. We came out with the Knight of Swords and it literally says drama. Do you see this? Drama llama, drama llama, conflict. So it seems to me like Aquarius, when you start doing well for yourself, you're going to have all sorts of people um, bickering and fighting. There's going to be drama because everyone is going to want a piece of you. You know, if they don't already, you know, there's going to be drama. Um, there might be some jealousy and I want to just tell you to pay them no mind. Continue to shine. Continue to go about your business. Now, there also could be some kind of drama in regards to a younger, um, I don't know what the Knight of Swords is, maybe a younger air sign, I'm not sure, um, swords to me, that, that's usually what, like air sign energy, right? Um, Knight of Swords can also be someone that comes into your life that they're very uh, sort of direct but they can be a bit hasty. Sometimes they have like, I like to call it diarrhea of the mouth because they just start <laughs> saying whatever is in their mind without even filtering themselves. They have a tendency to just start talking and they're, they never really filter themselves. And so this could be someone that is, is just wanting to come into your life to, to stir the shit pot, so to speak. So I want you to be aware of this energy because, you know, being being forewarned is that way you can be on the lookout for this type of energy and just nip it in the butt before before anything even starts, right? Seriously, there's such a glare here. I can't even fix it. I don't know. Okay. Um, so yes, just, just be beware of that energy. Um, we also have the hanged man, so let's pull on this. You know what, I feel like for some of you, um, you might know who this person is. There might have been some type of... If it's in regards to this love connection, 
I want to say that this could have been the person, like your your twin soul. Um, you guys might have had some kind of a miscommunication. And now there's like, there's no contact coming through. Because with the hanged man, this it feels like everything is sort of on pause. Okay. So there could be that aspect as well. I'm just going to go ahead and throw that out there because that is another message coming through with like the love portion of it. Um, we also, so we have the, when I asked why we had the hanged man, they gave me the king of the ocean order, which is the emperor. So it, if this person, has not came forward and you know everything has been on hold I feel like it's because they are stepping into their um emperor energy they're really stepping into that divine masculine you know like right now we are in the the rise of the divine masculine most of the masculines are stepping into their power whereas the feminines already have so if you are a feminine watching this you know i already i already sense that your person is going to come forward because we had the ace of swords here which is some kind of communicative breakthrough but i feel like the reason they took a step back is because they needed to step into this energy before they could um, you know make their way towards you we're going to pull some more cards from this deck okay all right we have strength and stability perfect so yeah this is showing me it definitely hasn't been easy for you Aquarius Wow. <laughs> um, it definitely hasn't been easy. It's taken a lot of inner strength. And, you know, you have done so well, my beautiful Aquarius. And I just want to give you some really good news. Because, look, once your person um, has fully stepped into their um, emperor energy, there is a proposal of love coming. The Knight of Cups. And it literally says proposals down there. Okay, now for the job situation, okay, well, for, let's go down the career message, okay? Um, beware of drama at work, okay? I just want to say that. Try not to get involved with the drama llamas at work. Um, try to put everything on pause, think things through before, you know, making any rash decisions or definitely, you know, don't take sides with anyone. Try to pause and keep a clear head. Stay in that emperor energy, right? Um, it will take a lot of strength <laughs> uh, because, you know, once the drama starts at work, it's going to be very difficult, but you have the strength to do it, okay? Remember, why you're in this, you know, energy, right? It's because you're trying to create financial stability for yourself. And I see that you will with the Ten of Pentacles, okay? So stay away from the drama. And then we have a wonderful work proposal coming in, which could be a possible raise, all right? So, yes, because we have creativity next. So <laughs> there's that little storyline for you, of course. Um... All right, where is, let's do the standard <clears throat> Rider weight, And then we'll get a spirit card for you. And we'll end with a charm for you. <laughs> Perfect. All right, any final messages for Aquarius? We have eight of wands. That's always good news, right? Oh, wow. Yes. So the proposal, the work proposal thing, it's going to go really well. You're going to have some type of 
financial collaboration, somebody's going to call you very quickly, quickly. It's going to come in very quickly, right? This energy where someone is contacting you and they're going to say, hey, I really want to work with you on this Aquarius. So I see you're going to be very busy um, for the end of January, beginning of February, right? Financial wise, things are popping off for you, Aquarius. Very good. Very nice energy. Yes, see, I just said that. Working really, really hard. Look at that. Awesome. Awesome sauce, right? It's really good. Oh, so good. La, 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 la. What else do we have? We have temperance. Okay. Let's see why they threw out some temperance. Wow. Okay. We have eight of swords. Wow. We have the hanged man again. This is the energy of like beautiful. Hold on. Let me pick one more card. This is the energy of a really amazing shift in your energy, Aquarius. Okay. I see right now that you are completely breaking out of limited belief systems that you may not even have been aware that you were holding on to, right? Um, so we have temperance, which is the energy of sort of alchemizing negative emotions and being able to turn them into a positive, right? And it came out with this card, the Eight of Swords, which is, you know, <clears throat> usually this represents feeling trapped in your thoughts, you know, allowing your thoughts to control you. Um, having limited beliefs when, you know, really she's not trapped, right? But here it is, it came out with temperance, which shows me that you're learning to, to alchemize these, these thoughts. Like no longer are you controlled by your thoughts. You're learning to completely reshift your belief systems. And it's been a long time coming, Right. I don't like the way this camera angle is right now. I might just, is that better? Yeah. Now it looks like my tree's crooked, but it's not. All right. Um. Yes, because look, you've reached this like beautiful stage of enlightenment, right? It's this energy of like being able to reach a state of awareness where your thoughts are no longer controlling you in any way, right? It's this sense of, of self-awareness, this very beautiful, strong sense of self-awareness. And, you know, usually that is achieved through calming our minds, through meditation, right? Okay. And this has came out twice. So this is like, spiritual enlightenment spiritual work meditation you know so the energy is very very strong all right so we have the ten of swords um it looks really scary right but what this is telling me is now that you have these new tools under your belt my beautiful aquarius and you're able to control these thoughts which held you back before this energy is no longer going to be affecting you at all okay um so it's like how do i describe this whereas before um you may have been able to for example if something went wrong in your day and there was this energy where you just felt really defeated right or overwhelmed now you're not letting those things control you anymore okay
And we have the King of Wands, which came out next, Aquarius. So, again, I see you stepping into this whole new chapter. Hold on. Oh, I had some fish earlier and I'm so thirsty. I see you stepping into this really new powerful energy where you're stepping fully into your power, right? The King of Wands is a charismatic, powerful, passionate person, okay? So you're embodying this energy of power and fire and passion. And that's, you know, one of the reasons why financial wise your career is doing so well at this time right and you're you're going to be unstoppable because now you've con you've learned to control you know these thoughts which before would have kept you in this energy right see we have swords but they're crossed by temperance and enlightenment it's beautiful okay so this also could be, you know, the, the twin flame energy, you know, your masculine could be represented also by this, you know, it's possible they could be um, fire mixed with air, just so you know, because we have two fire here, we have king of wands and temperance, so this is, uh, this is Aries, and this is Sagittarius. I mean, it could be any sign because they're both, you know, this is definitely the the, the sign of Sagittarius, but this um, could be, you know, Aries, Leo, Sag. So <clears throat> it's fire sign energy. All right. So we are going to pull a spirit card for you. What are we going to do? Which one should we do? <clears throat> Let's go ahead and pull an animal spirit card for you. I think that's good. Oh, excuse me. All right, so let's see the totem animal that is working with Aquarius right now, please. Spirit animal for Aquarius. All right. Oh, I got this one earlier for myself. It's the bull. Ta-da. It looks really scary. It doesn't even look like a bull. It looks like a goat <laughs> with like human. <sighs> oh, excuse me. I've had a really long exhausting day today. It looks really scary, but it's not. <clears throat> so the symbology for this is renewal, fertility, and growth. And um, this is a very powerful card. So I'm just going to go ahead and read the back for you. It says, bull cults were, oh God, what word is this? Bull cults were ubiquitous. Yes. Ubiquitous? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to stick with that. In ancient cultures, whose devotees worshipped the beast as a supreme deity, but the bull was also a symbol of renewal and the creature was ritually sacrificed with its blood sprinkled on the spring fields to ensure new growth. See, this represents um, fertility, so abundance. In ancient Greece, these rituals were associated with Dionysus, the Greek god of vegetation and renewal. Dionysus, who was frequently represented as a bull, and sometimes as a goat, was dismembered by the Titans and subsequently resurrected. The Spanish bullfight is a vestige of the ancient bull sacrifice. The Minotaur, another deity from Greek mythology, who had the head of a bull and the body of a man, is also associated with sacrifice and the cycle of renewal. The slain of the Minotaur, the devourer of youth, restores life, so see, this is about a renewal and a transformation, okay? <clears throat> That's amazingly beautiful energy, Aquarius. 
So we're going to go ahead and pick a charm for you. And then we're going to close this reading out. So these are all the charms I have. And I'm going to very quickly go into the story of the charms. So I had all these charms and I wasn't sure what to do with them. So I went into meditation with my spirit guides and they gave me mm, two pages of two pages of meanings for you, <laughs> for all of you. So that um i could have another way to channel messages for you so they gave me love meanings in parentheses and the regular meanings um not in parentheses okay so it took a really long time and but it's so worth it so i'm gonna close my eyes and pick you a charm and you can't see that my eyes are closed so i guess you're just gonna have to trust me on this and I feel like if you're here, then you do trust me. So let's go ahead and dive in. Ready? Aquarius. Oof. Oh, God, it's the eggplant. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> we already know what the eggplant means. <laughs> so they only gave me um, a love meaning for this, which we are going to say means great sex or some diac. <laughs> the Aussie K. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Aquarius. You go girl or boy, whatever. Um, <laughs> all right. So <coughs> oh, that's funny. We are going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and conclude this reading. Um, I hope you found something in here enlightening for you. If something resonated, then please, um, subscribe and hit the like button it is completely free for you share with all your amazing aquarius friends i love you aquarius Mwah.